One of the other controls that made its way from the UI kit to the Surf UI is the map control. In order to use the map control, first of all, you will need to import map kit. And now you can simply use the map control, which is also called the map. You'll see that when you are using the map control, there are different initializers that you can pass arguments to. We're going to use the basic one where you can pass in the coordinate region, meaning that where are the coordinates and do you want to center in those coordinates or not? So we definitely have to go ahead and create that. We're going to go ahead and create a state property, which will be private var region. And we are going to create MK coordinate region. The MK coordinate region takes in multiple different things, the center, latitude and meters, and longitudinal meters. The center will be the points where you want to center, so location 2D, and you pass in the lat and long. I already have calculated two different lats and long, which is located in Houston, Texas. I'm just going to pass 29.73 and minus 95 0.39. This is some location in Houston. For latitudinal meters, I'm simply going to pass in 500 and 500. This is kind of like the span of how the position will be determined. And the more this value is, it will be the more as, as a bird's eye view that we'll be looking at. Finally, we can go ahead and pass the meters. So dollar sign region, because this is a bindable expression. And let's go ahead and run our preview. Once the preview is running, we should be able to see the map getting displayed. In order to interact with the map, we can go ahead and run our application. And you'll see that we have all the different controls of the map. I can go ahead and move around the map. I can double click on it and I can zoom in. I can even do a pinch zoom out. So all the different map functionality that you were already using in the UI kit is available to you in Surf UI. So this is the map control in Surf UI. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my new course, Surf UI Declarative Interfaces for any Apple device. I will be providing a lot of updates for Surf UI 2.0, so you can get all the updates if you simply enroll in the course. You can see that this course is close to 16.5 plus hours with more than 4,000 students enrolled and also bestseller in the Swift UI category. I'm always keeping on adding new and amazing sections to this course, including core data integration and also new morphic design. This is the best course on Swift UI and you can get it Simply check out the YouTube description and there will be links in the YouTube description. Simply click on the link and you can get the course for the best price. Please do use the links in the YouTube description that if you use the links, then I will get a referral bonus and a little bit higher revenue. Thank you so much for your continuous support and I really hope that you have enjoyed this video.